Hi, I'm Jamie Derringer, editor of designmilk.com. And I'm Jean-Jacques Lenov, vice president of design for DXV and American Standard. So we are here at IDS Vancouver at the DXV booth where we are launching the Modulus collection, which is super exciting for DXV. Mm -hmm. And you are in charge of that and the design of that and how it came about. So why don't you tell me a little bit first about the inspiration behind the collection? The initial inspiration is really the modern architecture in America. It's part of the modern movement in the DXV portfolio. So we looked at modern architects such as Philip Johnson, Elliot Noyes, and, and so forth, and really focused on their mantra, which was from follows function. So the whole premise of the suite is really that functionality. Beyond that, we also looked at modularity to make sure that the line was actually usable in any type of space. And the last piece was that fashion element, and that was a personalization piece. And that was to add the last final touch that basically complemented the whole, the whole feature. Well, it's really like a, a fashion accessory in a sense. And we actually have uh, models here in the booth walking around with some really unique headpieces yes. made out of plumbing parts. Can you talk a little bit about where the fashion and the technology intersect with the design? So we were looking for, again, a way to personalize the product and, and add another element to, to the design. What we ended up doing is that we are thinking about jewelry such as bangles and rings and so forth, and we added that at the base of the concept. Mm -hmm. So it created that little contrast. So, so that element allowed us to have a product that is manufactured at time quantities, which is the faucet, the base of the faucet, the, the body of the faucet. And we can have special rings, because they are rings, added to the faucet that makes the product very special. So the rings come in all kinds of different materials, but what about the rest of the suite? I know that you know materials are incredibly important, and we're seeing a lot of mixed materials in the bathroom. So how is that in this collection? So the collection is uh, based on mostly a solid surface uh, suite of product. We offer also different upgrades, so you can, if you like the line but you want something more special, you can go towards, for example, a concrete lab, concrete is really trending, or you could have a marble lab, so it's like this very clean, modern line that is coming from a, a very natural material, which is absolutely beautiful also. And what about the functional features? Uh, you mentioned the lab. The lab was the, the, the starting point of the whole design, actually, where we really looked at how we use the lab every day and like the different wet, semi-wet and, and dry area. And so we designed an area that is recessed uh, so that, that you can use as a regular lab. There is a la uh, drain cover on the, at the bottom so the water can diffuse and kind of disappear around it and it doesn't splash. Then there's a transition area where you can do something wet, basically to drip, and a dry area where you can put the objects that should stay dry. Mm -hmm. But on top of all of that, you've got that little tray, trapping tray, that fits in the drawer or on top of the drawer unit that you can pull out, let's say if you want to put some makeup on or if you want to shave for men, you can actually pull that out, it fits snug on the lab in mm -hmm. that transition area. And when you're done, you just put it away and everything is nice, nice and nice. That's and cool, so, that's really cool. So the most important question is when can people get it in Canada, but when can they also get it in the U.S.? It's shipping October 15th in Canada, so shortly after in the U.S., but it will be in the showroom set up uh, only, I think, early in the year in Canada and in April in the U.S. Okay, and, great. Uh, and you will be able to see that TV again. In awesome. Well, I look forward to seeing it in the U.S. for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.